Many watch collectors dismiss any and all fashion brands that produce watches based on a decades old troop of brands taking a $10 watch, printing their logo on the dial and selling it for $200 or in other instances, much, much more. The era of this trope, however, is coming to an end. Brands typically associated with other items, be it fashion or fragrance, have started to take their watchmaking much more seriously in a world where there have never been more watch collectors and educated watch enthusiasts. Louis Vuitton is one such brand, branching out beyond the scope of their monogrammed leather goods to being a steward and cultivator of high-end independent watchmaking. With the Louis Vuitton Tambour Curve GMT Flying Tourbillon, the brand merges its distinct flavor of design with high-end complications. The 50-meter water-resistant case of this Tambour Curve GMT Flying Tourbillon has a subtly flared drum shape, apt given that Tambour is the French word for drum. It is a rather large drum, clocking in at 46 millimeters in diameter and 13.15 millimeters in thickness, but its camber throughout mitigates its wrist presence just a bit. The case back itself is flat, but looking at the front of the watch, you will notice a fluid arching line that extends from the curved lugs and curved sapphire crystal, taming the length across the wrist. On the right side of the case, you will notice pushers at the two o'clock and four o'clock positions, but this is not a chronograph watch. What these pushers actually control though, is the second time zone, or GMT counter, at the three o'clock position, advancing the yellow-tipped LV wheel forwards or backwards in hour increments. All configurations of the Tambor Curve GMT Flying Turbion have semi-skeletonized black dials, revealing a different material disc beneath. For the full shot-blasted titanium case configuration, the dial shutters, so to speak, reveal a gray sunburst backdrop. For the titanium and pink gold or full pink gold, a solid pink gold disc with a sunburst finish is utilized. Lastly, there's also a full titanium case configuration that includes a Gibeon meteorite disc. With this meteorite dial model, the applied hour indices rather than set with full solid blocks of superluminova are instead set with baguette diamonds for added luxury. Via cutout at the nine o'clock position, you will be able to see the star of the LV82 caliber within, a flying tourbillon crafted in the shape of Gaston Vuitton's signature V logo, rotating in full every 60 seconds. The automatic movement with 65 hours of power reserve is also exhibited on the case back. The LV82 movement has been given a future forward aesthetic, foregoing traditional decorations and instead blackened with blasted and circularly brushed surfaces. For both an added visual pop and added winding efficiency, the movement utilizes a pink gold rotor decorated with a linear brush and open worked V logo motif. Look, I will not pretend that the Louis Vuitton Tambor Curve GMT Flying Turbion we have here is for everyone, certainly not visually nor monetarily, but Louis Vuitton would not claim so either. Watches like this are meant to appeal to a select group, a group that is of high net worth, looking for a bold watch design you cannot find from another brand. I get it, its shape and size is rather polarizing. At the end of the day though, the Tambor Curve GMT Flying Turbion is for those who march to the beat of their own drum. So Louis Vuitton are really stepping their watchmaking game up as of late. And it's becoming more and more clear that they really are stewards of independent watchmaking. But what I wanna know from you guys is what do you wanna see from Louis Vuitton and their watches? As they're transitioning into this new era of watchmaking, what products do you wanna see them make that once you see it, you'd be like, I'm all in. The Louis Vuitton Tambor Curve GMT Flying Turbion starts at 79,000 US dollars and is available now for purchase. Well, everybody, thank you so much for watching, but please do us the honor and favor of hitting that subscribe button, because I know that most of you watching this video right now may not be subscribed to the channel, and it really helps us out. So thanks for watching, and as always, I'll see you on the next one.